I was dead but yet alive. You know, and uh, each time I woke up each morning, it was like I was living without a purpose. I was trapped, you know? I had no way out. It's a real story. It can happen to anyone. I, I thought I was Superman. I thought I was gonna, nothing was gonna happen to me. But I got sick. God knows, I got sick. Lost everything. Our program offers a simple, straightforward solution to the issue of homelessness uh, for individuals who have psychiatric disabilities, and that is to offer immediate access to permanent independent scattered site housing. So in our particular program, we're basically targeting people that meet the federal definition of chronic homelessness. And so we've been working closely with outreach teams and shelter staff to identify people who are currently living on the streets and that have a serious mental health condition. So those are the two things that people need to meet that criteria to be in our program. When people were coming in off the street, they probably didn't have very consistent access to health care. So uh, I was able to use my, um, my skills as a family physician to join the team here and um, start to get to know people and start to get to know a little bit about their health needs. I have major back problems. Um, that obviously you can see my, my mattresses are very thick. So, and I had no box break, so it was kind of hard on the back. Um, I have COPD, emphysema, so being out in the elements all the time, especially in the winter, it really affected my breathing. It, it affects you every way. It affects you mentally, too, just being out here. We didn't know about what people had been through, what they had experienced, and that was going to be important clinically to help figure out what their needs were. But I also realized that we didn't really understand people's stories. And we hadn't really had a chance to learn about really what they had learned from their years on the street. Uh, I was out here for three years. Um, I have osteoporosis, I got hepatitis C, and I have mental health diagnosis of schizophrenia. But I ain't addressed none of them issues when I was out here. Out here, you take medication, you pass out, you wake up, your pops is empty. And you wonder what happened. That medication does something to you that you're not aware of your surroundings of what's happening because you're passed out. I did take medication. They gave me medicine out there. But it was stolen. Some people stole my medicine, my Depakote, and yeah, a couple times. One easy thing to understand that might not be obvious at first is taking medications. It's hard to coordinate something as simple as dropping off a prescription at a pharmacy and picking it up and then keeping the pills safe and organized when you're in and out of shelters and the street. Um, and once that starts to fall apart and you, you don't have the ability to take medication on a consistent basis, so a lot of the folks we see turning to self-medication because that's something that's a little bit more flexible and available. I got jumped twice when I was in the shelter. I lost my medicines in the shelters. It's just, 
they really didn't care about you. You were just like, they just packed you in, and that's why there was a lot of hostility in the show. The people laying on top of people, and it wasn't a good scene to be in. Well, it was sort of hard being out for 13 months in the streets. You know, I was wishing for a bed every, every night and, and shower. We got cleaned in the ladies' room downstairs and all. Now, show them where I slept once upon a time. When I think of the issue of housing, to me, it's really about a right to housing and people should have a home to live in. Um, but what became also very apparent is that housing itself also functions really as a health intervention and helps people maintain their health a lot better. Now I have a nice apartment. I would say I'm doing the right things. I manage my medications. I take my medications every day. I go to all my doctor's appointments. And, and I really take the initiative to do things today for myself. Now, now I have a place through Pathways to Housing. I'm dealing with my health issues now. I'm taking my medication. And I'm feeling much better about myself. It, it makes all the difference. There are so many things that you can't, you absolutely cannot address when you're living on the street or living in a shelter. Um, it's just, it's not an available choice. But with an apartment, it is. Yeah, I have an apartment up, uh, I think it's Germantown area. Nice, spacious, one bedroom apartment. It's like a sanctuary, you know. that eludes you while you're homeless. You know, it's it's survival out there and right now in the apartment it's uh literally the doorway to life. So this research is different than than a lot of research out there because um What's different is that rather than just asking people um, questions and, and collecting information from research subjects, we actually invite people to be part of the inquiry itself. Not only does that generate valuable information, but it also empowers people and it helps them develop their own voice. So when we had the chance to start this research project, um, we were really excited. We felt very fortunate. We were funded by the Center to Study Recovery and Social Contexts, which is um, up in New York. And all the research they do is participatory and is um, in, in partnership with people who have experienced psychiatric disability. Our health has gotten better because we have a place to go. We have a place to keep our meds. I make my appointments. I take my meds. I eat better now because I have my own food. It's great. It organizes my life. And um, I'm on a strict regimen, but everything's good. I'm in good health. Being on the streets for 13 months, uh, you know, on your feet night and day, trying to get things to eat and trying to stay clean. And then you go into your apartment and it's all there for you. It's like a shock. It's a cultural shock in a way, you know. I take my medication now and I fall asleep in my house and my apartment and I'm okay because I know I'm safe and secure and I don't feel scared no more being out in the street. And I really enjoy having my place now and I enjoy Pathways to Housing. They have done a lot for me and I'm going to keep coming here until they tell me I'm no longer wanted. You have life, but it takes a little bit more to live life, you know. And, and, and I thank God that I really feel, I feel that I'm living life today, you know. And that's a blessing all by itself. I was sick when I was in the streets. You gave me a key. I'm still sick. 
but I'm in a better position to do something about it. The healing process begins every time you put that key in your door.